beauty contest definitely made me think and I actually have a question and I'd love to know if anybody can answer my question I also wonder if they would have done this episode you know say today it's not bad as such but I do feel like an episode of dressing a boy baby up in girl baby clothes is maybe something they wouldn't approach today but the episode is absolutely fine this is the first segment of the fifth episode of the first season of the Rugrats and Grandpa and Stu decide without Dee Dee's knowledge to dress up Tommy uh, with a wig and you know a dress to enter a, a beauty pageant competition where the prize is a fishing boat. I feel like that's a terrible prize for a beauty pageant. The prize should be for the benefit of the child, unless I guess the child loves fishing, which they might. And things go a little bit awry, particularly when Angelica is there and Angelica doesn't recognize Tommy. And it's unclear whether Tommy as Tanya will actually perform well and of course whether or not anybody will find out that Tommy is actually a boy and it did make me think if you enter a young child like a baby in a beauty pageant competition that's aimed at female babies which you know a lot of them often are aimed at girls I, I don't know if they're unisex or if you have to be female to enter them but especially when it's a little miss pageant generally it's assumed that they're for female children and would they check if you had a baby who was young enough you know a lot of babies you just can't tell what sex they are it's just as simple as that would they check have you ever entered a baby into a pageant a you know a young child a very young baby have they ever checked i would just be really curious to know if they'd actually check because i feel like that'd be a bit awkward to you know peel back the nappy and have a look i feel like that wouldn't be appropriate but at the same time if your baby is at the age where they don't quite look like a girl or a boy yet i am stereotyping of course but you'll know what i mean would they just could you get away with it i don't know i'm genuinely curious to know if anybody has had that experience or can answer that question but the point is it made me think it made me question whether this would actually work if anybody could actually enter a little miss competition where there are restrictions that it's only for female children and I'm not getting into you know debates about children who identify as the opposite sex or whatever but you know what I mean but that is one of the reasons why I also think they probably wouldn't do this episode today because while there's nothing in it that says girls have to be girls boys have to be boys I think it's maybe a subject that is pointing out the fact that Tommy probably shouldn't have dressed up as a girl and obviously there's nothing really wrong with Tommy wearing a dress if that's what he wants to do. Uh, a lot of young children play dress up in clothes that are stereotypically meant for the opposite sex and absolutely fine. So yeah, maybe the episode hasn't aged as well as it could have done, but ultimately the message is don't try and fool people rather than don't dress up your baby as the opposite sex because... Well, I won't say why, but the episode makes it quite clear. But I have to say, I love Grandpa in this. I thought he had a great energy. And <laughs> yeah, he mentioned something about his other grandchild. And it, it didn't even occur to me until that point either. Definitely an interesting episode. Really thought provoking. Definitely made me think about the world of pageants and, and you know, how restrictive they can be. And also whether or not people would be willing to manipulate the system to get a win. I don't know, but Beauty Contest is definitely an interesting episode, if not one that, a that has aged perfectly. <laughs>